This is Scott Bernstein from New York. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You know that. I don't have it on my stuff, and I don't think so. Okay. And what, what's his, uh, what was his charges, original charges? He's just driving with a suspended driver's license. There's a $100,000 warrant for him. A $100,000 warrant? Yeah, and he's driving with a suspended driver's license. He's driving with a suspended driver's license. He's driving with a suspended driver's license. driving while suspended? Yeah, he's, he's, okay, he's, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> mental health, uh, uh, he's got mental health problems. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to you later then. All right. All right. Bye-bye now. $100,000 on spend a license. Now that's one hell of a Oh, I, I've never heard forever. of such a thing in my life. The story is a mixed neighborhood. We just have to pop over to the Bronx real quick on the way to Queens. It's a uh, pistol grip type, police type shotgun. Um, with the uh, carrying strap. It's uh, basically out of the way. My hands are free once I strap it onto my shoulder. Allows me to uh, be free with my hands and uh, very similar to a, to a holster for a pistol. Yeah, that's what Michigan Lee, we're calling the Bronx, and if we make up our pickup, then she'll just follow us into Queens. And secondly, we're calling the Bronx. Hunting a man in New York City is completely different from hunting a man anywhere else in the country. New York City is the, is the toughest proving ground for doing this kind of work. Um, it's not like California, it's not like uh, Texas, it's uh, completely onto itself. Uh, we're dealing with uh, a highly condensed populated area uh, where there's the most amount of wanted fugitives per capita in the United States. I right, know where to go, Mike, now? Cross County East. You got it. Where were we? My motivation is um, part of it uh, is the, uh, the thrill of the hunt. There's nothing like hunting a man. West? No, I said east. Go, 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 go. Uh, we're going to have to stop taping. But the play on a loop, for the little ball hit back to Juice. He rather got to his throat. Now here's the throw. The ball is there, and Tommy was on the bag. And, and here's that next play that, uh, that we talked about just a moment ago. It appears that Hernandez was on the bag, but both runners were called safe. Now it's two and two to Manny Rivera. Yeah, Steve. Yeah. No, we got the address. Uh, I think we'll go there tonight to pick him up. We'll probably do a surveillance for a few hours because uh, that's all we got. We're going to make sure we, we keep that. All right, so I'll see you tonight probably about 11 at night. Sounds good. Make sure you're sleeping. We'll be there until the morning time. All right? Good enough. Bye. an alias, I'll show you his picture, he uses an alias um, on a street name of Blue. Now, he's wanted on two counts of possession of a controlled substance, uh, unlawful delivery, and his bail was initially 40000 Come on, man, call, call. Ho, 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 ho. Hello? Hello? Who's talking? Hello? Yeah? Jose? 
José? Who is it? Who is it? Who is who, who, who it? What's your name? Is it Jose? No. Juan. Okay, per, per, perdona, sorry. He didn't have that hoodlum type talk. He's not a hoodlum. So then it was him. He's not a hoodlum. So then it was him, probably. Okay. He's um, very well spoken. Yeah, oh, this guy was real well spoken. Well spoken. Yeah. Mannerisms like very polite. Yeah, yeah. Him. Yeah. yeah. So then it was him. It was him. It was him then. It was him. So then we know what we got to yeah. do. He's not a that reminds me of me when I was little. These motherfuckers is bold as hell, though. You see where they playing? We ain't do that. We picked like a street where it wasn't no cars. Shit, I wanted to see where she went. Remember, they said she was green and black like me. Oh, there she is. Okay. Have that mailman see if he delivers walk, uh, mail to Gregory Walker at this address. gentleman by the name of Gregory Walker? Yeah. Is he, is he here today? I don't know. I don't think so. You haven't seen him since when? Gregory, I, I saw him a couple days ago. Okay. Is he stays here every once in a while? He comes and goes. All right. You haven't seen him yesterday or this morning, have you? No. Okay. All right. Sorry to bother you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We're coming out. I'm gonna go, I'll brief you outside. And you can take care of it. But if you don't help Scott, your son can be in a lot of trouble. I help. I go after him. It's gonna be a lot worse. Yeah. I hope knows what would happen. Listen, listen. Help Scott, and you can help your son. If you don't help Scott, something very wrong could happen to. You don't want to see your son hurt, Linda. Linda. Linda, Linda, let me ask you one question and give me an honest answer. Do you want to help me? Yes. Okay, I'm going to tell you how you're going to help me. I want you to go over to 1061 East 226th Street, 
and I want you to find out where your son is, because those people know where your son is. Do you know who Tony is? Well, then that's what I'd like you to do. Are you willing to do that? All right, don't, don't get frightened. Belinda, do you want to help us? All right, I want you to see you can work it out with her to see if you, you go over to 1061. You talk to them, you find out where your son's located. Here we go now! 107.5 on the FM band, along with the maestro Herbie Hall, bumping it up to the max for you. 97 degrees about the max park, and we haven't forgot about you. Lawson's Lounge, formerly known as Lester's, down there off of Adam Street, still the eight. Todd Lawson, my brother of the time. Youngest businessman in America. Entrepreneur, got it going on, making 50 D's a year. Oh, we're moving in with you, Todd. Be sure to show him your love and support loss. Right, <laughs> <laughs> He's talking him out. Need to be on TV. I'm saying, right? Yeah. No, that was him. How you doing? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 He fried. He fried. He's talking him out. He's up out. You look like a hard down crackhead. You look shit. Oh man, you look like you looking for a fix. All you gotta do is learn to walk now. Just walk like in a hurry, like you know. I think we're close. I think we're close. Our guy spotted him. And we're going to hopefully try to spot him tonight. We're going to be on the street m most of the night. Many men and women were there. Probably about 70% men. I was going to say 75. 70, 75% men. Yeah, 70, 75% men. How many were black and white? Oh. How many? 60% black. 60% black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 60% black, because I think most of the women we've arrested were white. white. That's right. Exactly. As a matter of fact, all the, the women, women we've arrested were white. Were white. Mm -hmm. All of them. In this world, in this country, my opinion is that the government, the local authorities, want, don't want to show that, that part of crime. They want to show the black man, the Latino man, be as a criminal. I don't know which one is which. Voila. <laughs> oh, we're incognito. If she can get in the kitchen, we can do a lot better. Ready? Let's go. Give me the number. B1. Give me the number again. 31. You got to key up the mic before you talk. 41. There's no such number, 41. I'm going to check out a vehicle that's spotted that matches the description of the vehicle and check the VIN number. In here, that's going to be the Q. Well, I'm going to try to get him outside so you're going to see it. Once I get him outside, that's it. Once you see me come out with him, it's all over. Okay. I'm basically going to get on the radio and I'm going to pretend I'm calling down to, like, uh, the office. And I'm going to say, I got Mr. Belindi here. Everything's fine. I'm moving on to the next assignment. I'll just say headquarters come in. You say, okay, you pretend you're from Con Ed. Put it nah, in. That's going to be obvious. So I got a big 45, man. Should have brought my 22, but that's a little pea shooter. 
I'll put it on me and we'll see if it's what it looks like. On the street right now? They're outside of the place right now. Don't make any hasty things. Come up on the street here. I'm coming up in the car. Hey, how are you guys doing today? Checking uh, someone on the meter at this address. We wanted to change the meters around. You guys live here? Huh? No, there's a couple complaint about it. So, so we wanted to find out. Base. Is that a confirmative? White shirt. White shirt. White shirt. Freezer right there. Don't move. Right against Edges. the wall. Get out of the, the wall right now. On the ground. Get now. on the ground now. Move. Now. On the ground. Now. On the ground. Now. On the ground. Now. On the ground. Now. Get down on the ground. Now. You Joe Berlendi? Joe Berlendi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cover him up. I got him covered. Don't you move! You move and I'm shooting you! Okay, all right. I'm not moving you. I'm not moving. Get your hands back here. I can't move. Let's go! I've got a bad arm. I'm on the ground. Get, get on your knees first. On your knees. Don't move. Don't you move. Let's go. What's your name? You got any weapons on you, Emil? You got anything on you? Any weapons? Huh? Get over here. Hey, jump bail. Where you get in? Stay on the ground. In the car, watch your head. You want anything with him? All right, stand up against the wall. Hands up against the wall. I gotta go get the car. Let's, uh... Make two turns and let's park it out of the area. So was a uh, quick, effective takedown. No one got hurt. We got in, got out. Excellent job. Best I've ever seen done. That's because we only work with professionals and Scott, total professional. Just a regular day on the street for me. That's all it is. And this thing works beautifully. See a kind of guy walking up to the street. Instead of a guy in an agent jacket, they could have ran. It's a professional way and a right way to do things to get the job done correctly. We'll take him right down to the police station. It'll take about an hour and a half to go through the process there. And then he'll be put in the San Mateo jail. How long have you been in the business? About eight years. You're a female hunter? Yes. You have a family, children? Yes, I'm a Did grandmother. I have three children and three granddaughters. They're scared? Totally. <laughs> they don't even want to know about it. They can't handle it. Well, the bottom line is I have to get a contract or I can't work the case. So uh, what I can do is I can get over to uh, my brother lives in Long Island. I can stop off at his place. And, um, but you don't even, I don't even have a contract available to me. I can handwrite a contract, you know? But I don't know if you want to, uh, my fee is 20%. Yeah. Right. Is that acceptable? Two one two six nine zero four five eight five. Huh? It's old. That address is four years old. Cause we went there yesterday, and the person that lives there now is the the super of the building, and there isn't any phone in that apartment. You gave us St. Nicholas Avenue, apartment two F. And that's four years old, so I want to see if you can get a, a more current, ad, uh, the new address. It's, it's illegal for him. I mean, it's he should not be. As hell. He shouldn't be doing <laughs> that um, with his, with his company. If anybody found out, he'd be in trouble. Yeah. Big, big trouble. Real big. How many organizations in the in commercial companies are using those kind of information? A whole lot of. Uh, almost everybody, even the police and the detectives, have people in, in government places, in higher-up jobs,
who have access to confidential information, and, and you just can't get around it. People love to tell secrets. It's just the way it is. who know me and the detectives said that I would have made a hell of a, a police officer or a detective. Um, and they love the way I work. But at that point, I was too old. It's a very unusual occupation for a, a Jewish male to uh, be in this line of work. Everybody in my family are uh, doctors, physicians. I'm the uh, so-called proverbial black sheep of the family, so to speak. I ended the, uh, the lineage of uh, not going into the medical profession, but uh, uh, it, it was never for me. Um, I just have a very aggressive personality, and uh, I, need, I need adventure. Um, I like, uh, I'll be honest, I like living on the edge. Special agent, where's Tyrell? Nick. Where? Where's in where? He's in there. What you what you need? Where is he? Where is he? What you need him? I have a warrant for him. Where is he? A warrant for him? Yeah, where is he? Where is he? I'm not gonna ask you again. Where is he? He's in there. Where? In the room. Where's Tyrell? Is you Tyrell? Yeah. Get up. Get up and off the phone now. Step out this way. Step out this way and let me see your hands at all times. Put my shoes on? Yeah, I'm going to let you get your shoes, brother. Just hold on one second, all right? Hey, fuck y'all, man. Y'all come in like this, man. Let's go. Come on. Shit, man. Oh, unlock it. Unlock the door. Let me see. Come on, come on. Let's load them up. Get somebody in there. Two agents in that car. Let's phone. rock and roll. I mean, now, how much of a macho man do you have to be to go and shoot a deer? I mean, give me a break. And then strap them on the top of your car like a trophy. I hate people like that. I feel a good sense of taking somebody off the street. Uh, we're doing a public good, of course. Um, and the uh, adrenaline rush of, uh, of uh, effectuating an arrest after uh, several days or weeks or months of tracking a fugitive, uh, it's just uh, there's no other feeling like it. I mean, 
nothing like hunting a man. I never hunt any animal. I never shot an animal. I don't believe in hunting animals, but I certainly believe in hunting men. Right now! Right now! I'll take you in a body bag, motherfucker! I'm trying to be nice to you. Don't be an asshole. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I hear one more word out of you. I'm going to send you to Ward 40. You know what fucking Ward 40 is, motherfucker? You know what it is? It's for the lunatics. I'm going to have you bent over and raped by everybody. So watch your mouth. That's it. That's fucking it. Sure guy, what do you want to do? Want to tip him up? Huh? Somebody banging their head against the wall. Behave yourself, we're going to tape you up. Tape me. Come on. Basically, they said, happy hunting, and so we're off to pound the pavement for the evening. It's 1.30 in the morning, so we expect to be in the morning, a.m. Are you listening in to the a.m.? Yeah, so let's, let's hope our spouses hear that. It's 1.30 in the morning, and we're just getting started. And we're running around the street just getting right. started. No, right. no, no, we've been started. Well, we've been we doing it early this all morning. 9 o'clock this morning. We've been since 9 this morning. We haven't stopped yet. So. Right. We could have uh, went after a third fugitive, which was uh, on our way uh, into the airport out of Long Island. The uh, defendant's name is uh, Robert Wilkins. He has a street name, the Scientific. And uh, been after him on and off now for a few months. It's been a long day, and I'm concerned about the bail agent from California. She has a long trip to make. We'll be after uh, Scientific on another day.